Yeah, we're gonna do Amber McDaniel. Because we don't discriminate. Medium games. Research. Train. Train. Staff welcoming party. Yay! We're best friends now. You and me. Best friends forever. Na -na 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 okay. Uh, that song's stuck in my head now. Congratulations, everyone. We've done it. We've killed Bill. What kind of things can I research? Casual games? Medium games? Let's, let's research some medium games. Sure, why not? That way we can uh, get publishers to love me. Of course, before I can even do that, I would need a third part person. So let's first make a game engine, make a couple new small games. Uh, and by let's, I mean me and her. Me and her. Me and her. Yeah, me and her together forever. So look at here. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Boney, a company known for general electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Apparently, Boney has collaborated with Ninvindo. Ninvinto. Sorry. Uh, so Sony, by Boney, I mean Boney. Boney, the guys that made uh, that make the Play System. Are going to make uh, this play system, but they're going to be working with Ninvento, who created the TES. And, and it's like, yeah, 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 first console using a CD drive. Wow, amazing. Oh my gosh, it's renovated. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Avoni and Ninvento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Ninvento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. So apparently the play system that was going to be made here, uh, Ninvento was like, uh, fuck you, Vony. We'll make our own game console. We don't need you. I guess they hate each other. The rights and all that. It's like, who gets the rights? Uh, rumor has it that the dist distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable for Ninvento, uh, handing over much of the control to Vony. Well, guess what? It's true. Vony takes over. This seems to be the end of the play system. Aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. No. No. No, it's it's not. Don't worry, everybody. It's it's not the end. So I'm waiting for this lovely lady here to uh, reach this buy-up thing because this buy-up thing is like basically her efficiency. Hi, Bill Fungal Nuff. I have followed the, pro uh, the progress of Greenheart Games for a while, and it seems that you're a green blah, 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 blah. Let's hire you because, you know, you're better at making games than we are. And uh, we'll get everybody to know about it, but uh, we make the most money. So, hey, man, that's cool. Now the TES is being taken off the market. Let's, uh, let's, um, a game engine. <gasps> a game engine. What shall it be called? It will be called, uh, uh, poof. Because that's what happens to the games that were made with it. They just go poof. Yeah. Yeah, go shoo. Better user experience, game tutorials, better lot dialogue level editor, open world, and mono sound. Poof. Let's create this engine. $240,000 engine. I'm just waiting. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I should have drank some of my tea while I was waiting for this to happen, uh, but I didn't. And it's too late. Oh, oh, it's gone. Okay, research points. Yay! Oh, another research point. TS no longer supported. You released two games and you made this much money. Engine complete. Poof. Poof. Uh, before we can make any published games, we really do need one more, one more player. And I guess, I guess we should look for someone that's. You know, game design, don't repeat yourself, code incomplete, sure. Technology. So who's good here? Isaac Goodman. Isn't, is that like a famous person? Fernando Hodges. So 9,000, this guy's level two and he wants 22,000. Look how small his technology is. It, it's so small that it screwed up because it's like he doesn't even know how to tech stuff up. I don't know. 
uh, researches or whatever, uh, research speed or whatever, to research speed, okay. Well, let's look here, 185, 158. You have a lower salary and you're more in design, less in technology. You're famous. Oh, no. Fernando Hodges. Mario Brooks, though. Oh, well. Brooks. Brooks. Brooks is the name of that guy that made that zombie movie. Okay, buddy, you need some training. Staff welcoming committee. Welcome to the staff. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans... Oh, Fernando, you're already doing something. Uh, dodge, uh, dungeon people have created a fan game using a lot of the content. Let them be. Let them be. Let my people go. Now, why would I do that, you say? Well, I mean, uh, because, uh, because I like fans. Hi, I'm Dennis Reed, the main developer of the Dungeon People fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very pissed off that you didn't. I'm killing millions of people right now. Oh, well, dang, uh, Reed, uh, you, you screwed in the head. Oh, cool, we got 679 fans from that blood and crazy sane murderer person, yeah. Hi again, I heard that you've been very successful in the gaming. Jason. 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 So we'll just wait until everybody's happy. And it's like, oh, well, he's here. It's kind of scary. He's f scaring me. I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess he is Mexican. I don't really know who he, what uh, diversity he's from, but uh, I can't see my character's face. It's impossible to see your character's face, by the way. You never see your character's face. You didn't see this guy's face. Oh, the beautiful face he's got. Oh, yeah, he'd like me to touch your face. But, uh, you know, that's in the past. Develop new game. Create custom game. Find contract walk. Develop new game. Create custom game. Find contract walk. Let's, um, let's develop a new game first. It's going to be a small game. It's going to be called Pong. I don't think this works here. It might, because we have a Pong thing, but I think this is supposed to be in the garage where something happens. Pong is a, I don't know, dungeon game. Zombies, military, life. Yeah, never mind. We don't, we don't have anything for Pong. We need, like, sports. Screw you, Pong. But first, let's see. What are we going to choose? Uh, Sci-fi, uh, life, uh, Wild Wild West. Uh, dungeon. Hoyle. Dungeon. Dungeon. Actually, let's see what we can uh, research. Uh, transport, spy, government, 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 government. Okay, government. Wild, wild west train. So this guy is mostly a designer. So uh, game design for pirates. Because he's a pirate. Arg. Arg me, matey. Shiver me timbers. You walk the plank, you scallywag. Arr. So we've got government complete. Let's, uh, let's, one sec. I just want to see if there's any other topics by martial arts. Martial arts. Oh my gosh. Martial freaking arts. Oh my gosh. No. Okay, he's almost done. And... He's done. Okay, so we're going to develop a new beautiful game now. It's going to be a small game. It's going to be called, uh, it's going to be a government game. It's going to be a simulation government game. It's going to be on the PC because PC loves simulation. It's going to be made using poof and it's going to be for everyone. As I'm just kidding, it's going to be for mature. I think it should be for everyone though. I think everyone's better than mature. Well, let's make it mature anyways because you know, young kids don't understand the government. It's going to be called, um, I'm a Dictator. There we go. Beautiful name. I like it. Next. I'd want to be a Dictator. <laughs> I want to rule a country and make everybody my bitch. So first of all, it gave us nothing there right away. That's a bad sign. Simple cutscenes, game tutorials, better user experience. It's a simulator game, so story's pretty useless. Let's, uh, let's get rid of the linear story and just keep the cutscenes, because cutscenes matter. People like pictures. Uh, gameplay, high, engine. Simulation, does simulation care for engine? Uh, let's make it 50%. Just to make sure.
Electric games, I got wood, blah blah. Let's agree, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, so uh, we were wondering, uh, your new game is a government simulation game. Uh, can you tell us why there's such a game would usually see more focus on engine or on dialogue? Well, you see, Carrie, it's a simulation game, so uh, I think dialogue can just screw itself. I'm probably wrong here. Let's watch. Uh, Bill Fungal said that engine is of particular importance for such a thing. Seems that other industry professionals agree with this. Oh, cool. Bill is right. Bill's a smart guy, I see. So, dialogue can suck a D. Level design, sway up. Simulation, I forgot if simulation cared about artificial intelligence. It looks like it does. Let's put it right here. I think, yeah. Better dialogues, level editor. Because we care. We got some hype. Look at that. People are like, oh, we're hyped. We're hyped. We want to see this game. Graphics, well designed. Graphics, well designed. Well designed. Simulation game, I think well designed doesn't matter. Sounds super important. No, it's not. Graphics, I can't remember if graphics are important. Let's just put everything up high. Yeah, that's that's right. That's what I want it to be. Mono sound, open world. Yeah, yeah, this is an amazing game. I like it already. I want to play this game, whatever game this is. I'm a dictator game. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm a government simulator guy that's walking around kicking people's asses. Because, you know, I'm a dictator. Look at the amazing balance. Release the Kraken. New research available. Character progression. So this person's already like, oh, well, I'm tired. Send on vacation. You suck. The first reviews for our newly released game, I'm a Dictator, came in. It did terrible. You suck. You should die in a hole. I don't think I'm going to lose any fans, but I'm certainly not going to be gaining very much. Oh, cool. Someone gave me a 7. Thanks, all games, you asshole. Let's, um, since we're not going to be making too much from this, let's, uh... I don't know, I feel like we need one more person before we can make the games that I want to make. Let's see here. Dear Greenheart Games, we have following your progression in recent years and would like you to join games, games, games. Go games, 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 games. Well, thanks, so, but uh, I'm not going to be joining any of your things because what's the point? Really, there is no point to go into this convention as far as I'm concerned except to like, increase hype for a game. But I'm not making a game. So government and simulation is a great combination. Sounds seem to be quite important for this type of game. Thank you for telling me that, sir. So let's uh, find publishing deal. Any topic, adventure. On a PC, that'll be fine. Game size, medium. Target audience, everyone. Oh, that's, that's a problem. Target audience is young, airplane, RPG. That's going to be kind of hard. Transport, any genre. And it's going to be, there is no target audience. Uh, what's transport good for? I think adventure is, but is is this game really is you know Oasis really good for adventure? I don't know it might be, but the minimum score is eight, which is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. I'd rather do this where everyone's on the computer with minimum score of six, just because I know stuff that's good for adventure. So, uh, but before I accept that contract, let me just uh. Curse you dogs. I, how much I loathe you. So let's look for some, some other people at Techies. Yo, man, design, yo. Yo, yo. Game design for Paris. Yo, okay. And train. Technologic. Technologic. Train. Sure. Technologic. So, technology, you know, 166, 9 per month, uh, 149, 181. 189, Okay, this guy's got nice speed and research. I like it. I like you, Abraham Barnes. Let's hire you. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to even bring it up. Okay. I'm a dictator. It's now off the market. Thank God. Dictators are mean and evil bastards, aren't they? 